I just watched a video of Representative Fluger, spelled P L L U G E R, of Texas, questioning a Biden administration official about the average annual energy usage in the United States, whether this Biden official named G-O-M-M-A-N, Gaman, I think. It was hard to see under the text. He was asking him whether he knew what the figure was, and Gaman answered honestly he did not know. Fluger then went on to say, well, how are you proposing that we have a certain number of electric vehicles in the market? Where is the electricity going to come from? He also goes on to say what the actual figure is, but in fact, he's wrong. The actual figure is published within the detail of this video. But really, that's unimportant. Fluger was trying to get the Biden official in a gotcha moment that they hadn't really planned this out. This is another unfunded liberal socialist plan to get the electric vehicles out when the grid was already stressed. Well, Fluger may not be wrong, but he goes on to say that, this, that the grid is already stressed. He's right about it. Fluger went on to say that it's in his city, it's 110 degrees Fahrenheit. There's no wind. It's sunny. Well, why is it 110 degrees? Could have been asked of Fluger. Was it 110 degrees average days in the July month period that we're in now, 50 years ago? The 110 degrees Fahrenheit may be caused by the climate change, question mark. Well, either way, it doesn't matter. But here's the thing. He goes on. He basically, when in his statement, there's a solution. If he was thinking like an American first, like a citizen of the world first, looking out for the viable, viable solutions for all Americans, was he thinking, thinking like, how can I make this world a better place than what I found it? Well, he could spend time going through these gotcha moments with Biden officials showing them out to be what? Socialists, liberals, whatever, you know, that's red meat for the base. But what about thinking about, you know, solutions? In his in his statement, there is a solution. It's 110 degrees. It's sunny outside. Well, he ever thought about a viable storage solution with solar power supplementing the grid? The grid is stressed already because of rising temperatures during peak usage, as there was in southern Australia. During peak usage times of 6 to 8 p.m. when folks are making dinner and the TVs are on and all the electronic devices are plugged in. Southern Australia had a problem. They're having outages all the time. They needed to come up with a solution. Well, one very broad-minded forward-thinking commissioner started a dialogue with Elon Musk on Twitter. And he asked whether Elon Musk had a solution for their problem. Elon said that Tesla solves a, a problem very similar to this one for another large commercial area that was having a similar problem. Outdated older grid was being stressed continually by the peak usage times during these rising temperature times in Southern Australia. Well, it came time to getting this underway, and basically, uh, it, it they they got clearance to do this. They got the approval to do this, and Tesla said, "Well, I'm going to put in the largest lithium-ion battery solution to store the power that's developed through wind and solar, so that it can then feed the grid during those peak usage times." Meaning, he had a viable solution for when the sun was not high and the wind was not strong, there would still be power within that storage lithium ion battery that could then feed the grid when it needed it. Now it came time to who's gonna pay for it. Well, Tesla said, Elon Musk said, that if they uh, took more than a year, that Tesla would pay for it. But if they got it done in under a year, then the uh, constituency would pay for it. Well, it turns out that Tesla got it done in record time they were able to produce the largest commercial lithium ion battery in Southern Australia history. And now it's already feeding the grid and solving 
the problem for the drains on uh, the peak drain times, but it also has excess energy that can then feed it when it doesn't need it as it isn't throwing its most stressful points. So it's putting even less stress on the grid. So what I'm trying to say simply is this, is that Pfluger, if he thinks like a statesman, if he thinks like an American first and not like he's trying to feed red meat to his base only, but let's come up with a solution. Let's come up with a viable solution to both get these electrical vehicles on the market, to feed less CO2 into the environment, and to help the grid survive already what is already being stressed. Right? Solve the problem, not create more discord, us against them. Right? It's not about who has the, you know, the, you know, I've got the most knowledge, but it turns out you don't. At Pfluger, you have the wrong data. So you don't even have the gotcha, but who cares? I don't care if you know that information. What I care about is that you're thinking like an American first. Thank you.